Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Defendo. Revelio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back.
Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Revelio. You look familiar. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Rebellion. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizardkind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today.
Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Rebellion. Curious. Lumos. Merlin's beard. Rebellion. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Stay back! 
Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Confringo! Lumos! Defender! Incendio! This has a moth imprinted on it, the same as the door. Lumos. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. Oh! Let's 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. 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 Witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. I've got to show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. 
I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Revelio. That's it. This is for Rookwood! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Confringo! Incendio! Protego! I know your kind. Luma! Lupendo! Luma! Confringo! Confringo! Your tongue is already done. Incendio! Lumos! Come on, too afraid to fight back. Confringo, no. Luma. Incendio. <laughs> Rebellion. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. 
It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aim might possibly be aligned. I should dismount here. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Uh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Wonder if they can hear us down here. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. This be Mr. Oaks's Van Rock's loyalists. Just ahead. Should I take them by force or discreet? Oh, little girl. Far from home. Good day, Oh, good friend. Oh, good friend. I will think before you were born. Incendio. You won't stop me. Lumos. Good friend. Oh, good friend. Good friend. Now to find out what happened here. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. This looks intriguing.
Revelio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of Mr. Oaks's trade journal. safe now. Revelio. <laughs> <laughs> 